Hello, and welcome back to Actinium. I'm Patrick, and today I'm going to play a game called Sangfroid. Sangfroid? Something like that? Tales of Werewolves. So, there's apparently werewolves in this game. Um, I don't have a clue whatever this is, <laughs> actually, to be honest. Uh, it just popped up on Steam, and it looked interesting, so I want to give it a try. Oh! What's up with that girl? Maybe she's gotten bitten by a werewolf. Yeah, she's probably has actually. Um, there's a man. Look at him. Uh, he's sitting in his rocking chair, smoking his pipe. And there's another guy with a nice hat. Um, and there's a wolf. So yeah, let's just give it a try and see whatever this is. New game. Ooh. Please select a hero. Jack. High difficulty. Joss. Normal difficulty. I want to be Joss. He looks cool. I like his shirt as well. Um, he has a nice beard. Difficult to level normal. Joss excels both in close combat and with traps. Joss was a sickly child and almost died after he had fall from a tree. But his mother, a famous inner witch, used her magic spell so effectively to heal him that he grew up with an iron constitution and an extraordinary strength. Oh, enticed by the high pay that offered him, just took a job as a lumberjack at the W. Hood Company at a very young age. After the, after the forced exile of his brother Jack, who was wanted by the authorities for his role in the Patriot Rebellions of 1837, just bought a little property in the village of Wolvesvale. Where this was his sister Josephine. Okay, sounds good. He's had an interesting life. Let's choose the top profile. Let's just call me Patrick. It's good enough. Um, oh, it's apparently a, a cal calendar. Click on a green square to load that day. Okay, let's begin. Yeah, so. I I actually don't know anything about this. It's apparently an indie game. Uh, it is supposed to have some interesting mechanics according to the Steam page. And it's about the werewolves. Continue. Ooh, chapter 1. Exile and Reunion. December 5th, 1858. As I live and breathe, if it isn't my little sister, Josephine, what good wind blows you to the deepest, darkest forest? To see your hermit brother. More like a storm, I'm um. afraid. The parish priest went crazy and jumped me like a demon when I was dusting the sacristy. I oh. tried to fend him off with a candelabra, but a candle fell on the floor and the church caught fire. Ever since, the whole parish of Woolsvale says it's my fault. That's just crazy. Oh. It doesn't make any sense at all. But hey, don't just stand there like you're holding up the doorpost. The That's not too is, good. You see, Jacques. I'm not alone. Hello. Don't worry. It wasn't my day to come here, brother. Without Joseph to protect me, the villagers would have torn me to pieces in the village square. He can't live there anymore either. Please, Jacques, for the love of our mother, let bygones be bygones and let us both stay here with you. Also, oh, there's some sibling rivalry going on. <laughs> Did you hear oh. that? Sounds like a wolverine's outside spooking our horses. Since you're going to be living off me, Josie, might as well make yourself useful and chase it away. Is wolverine here? <laughs> Meanwhile, I'll heat up some tea for our sister. You best take good okay. care of her. She's got a fever. Uh, yep. You best do that, Jack. Look at me. I'm amazing. Oh, it's... Oh, it's actually a third person. I didn't realize that. Um, rotating the camera. Yep, I have an axe, and a shotgun, or, or some kind of rifle. Oh, this I'll be wolf. damned. The horses are dead. No. The Wolverine looks a lot more like a wolf, Jackie boy. The pack must be close by. Uh, yep. Hey, Wolfie, kill the wolf. Um, okay. Can I shoot him? Or do I need to hit him with my axe? 
Um, stop eating my horse. That's not a nice thing to do. Um, okay, find a nearby pack. Packy, packy, pack. I'm not very fast. Um, but then again, I'm kind of a big guy, so I wouldn't expect too much in that matter. Uh -huh. There's some glowing stuff going on here. Bridge to oh. the village is burning. No. Looks like I'm gonna be staying in Jack longer than expected. Oh crap. <laughs> uh, seems like these brothers don't like combat each other very much. Oh. Your health is represented by the red bar at the bottom of the screen. Yeah, I can uh, uh, understand that. Can I skip this? Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Kill all the nearby wolves. Where are they then? Oh! Hello. Um. They don't look very happy to see me. She's an enraged attack. Oh. I have like a more powerful attack as well, it seems. They aren't even attacking me. I don't know what they're doing. Um, I love the music as well. Oh, save the Miller! Oh, I can run! There we go. Um. <laughs> Look at this guy. Yeah, I'm gonna save you, Miller. Da, 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 da. Oh. The rifle. Okay, how do you use the rifle then? To reload your rifle, hold down the control key. <laughs> to reload faster, click the right mouse button repeatedly. Okay. So, let's see here. Uh, don't mind me, I'm just... Reloading my rifle like really slowly. Okay, let's see here if I can shoot this guy. Bam! Oh! Um. <laughs> that wasn't very effective. Let's use my axe instead. Bam! Miller! I'm here to save you! Um. Oh! The good Lord has sent you. <laughs> I love those animations. Hard to yeah. miss you, Miller. I think they heard you all the way in Quebec City. Be careful. Yeah, they probably did. There's a pack of rabid wolves around here. Okay. How many? Dozens, hundreds, maybe. <laughs> they even blocked yeah, the road doubt to my mill in the east. Go see by yourself if you want. Okay. As for me, I'm gonna run and hole up at the W Hood Company. Yeah, you do that. Sounds good. Giddy, giddy, good. Secure the mill's road to the east. Sprint. Woohoo! Um. Okay. Some more wolves. Should I shoot them, perhaps? Just see if I can reload my weapon. Takes a while to do this. Head to the waypoints. Let's see. Fear factor. Fear factor. Uh -huh. When you're in combat, the fear factor meter appears at the bottom of the screen. Okay. This meter represents the time you have before your enemy's next attack. The more your enemies fear you, the greater the distance between both icons and the more time you have before the next attack. Oh. Okay. However, enemies aren't okay, as... Okay, 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 okay. I get it. I get it. Kill all the nearby walls. Let's see. Oh. Hello. Bam. Um. Fear me. I'm dangerous. Go here. You're too exhausted. Catch your breath. Oof. Oof. Just try and attack him before he attacks me. There we go. That's an interesting system, actually. What's after that symbol? Oh, never mind. Secure the mill's bridge. Yep. I might just do that. Do, do, do. Oh, look at this mill. It's nice. 
Pack management. Pack. When you attack multiple enemies at the same time, your yeah. chances for survival drop. So it's important to know how to intimidate your enemies to space out their attacks. There are two ways to intimidate your enemies. Yeah. First, every time an enemy takes damage, its fear factor decreases. Okay. Second, the icon at the bottom of the screen is one of your special abilities, the intimidating shout. Ooh. Press the Q key to shout and intimidate your enemies. <laughs> Don't forget. <laughs> okay, 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 I get the point. Um, kill all the number wolves. Yeah! yeah! Let's go, dang it. Ouch, 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 ouch. The build is not ready yet, okay. I feel like I'm playing a role-playing game. No, it's not ready yet. Let's just take care of this guy. There we go. Um, oh. My axe is glowing. What's going on now? No! Oh. Jack! That's my brother. I turned my back for two seconds. Oh. I better get back to the cabin as quick as I can. I need to run. I need to save my brother and sister. Uh, oh, I'm already here. Okay. Uh, Stairs you can form buildings. Okay. Oh, so I need to protect my buildings. Yeah. Kind of makes sense. Drink the Canadian whiskey? Oh my god. Yes, please. Uh, press one. One. There we go. Ah! I'm drunk and mad. Ah! I scream at them. Get away from our house. In the middle of the street. Ouch! I really don't understand the health bar though. I don't know how much health I have. This looks like a horse. Eh. Probably fine. Get over here. 0 0.10 dollars. Where's... Are any more? No? And it starts. Complete the first tutorial. Yeah! I completed the tutorial. I'm so awesome. <laughs> Wasn't that hard? They speak to me. Oh. I hear um, them. This is really creepy. I see. I see um, the beasts. They were sent by the devil. Yeah. Um, what happened? That's not too good. She started shaking like a crazy person. Then she let out an awful <laughs> like crazy scream person. and fell to the ground. Maybe she's it, just like a crazy person. There was nothing I could do. Go get Dr. Lamontang. I don't know Lamontang. what happened, but the bridge to Wolf's Vale was burnt down. We'll have to wait till morning. Oh. Yeah. Next day. Man, this is starting out really interesting. I'm looking forward to see what this game has in store. I haven't met a werewolf yet, though. It's not going to be nice. That's going to be a nice experience. Chapter 2. Desires and Regrets. 1858. My lord. LTVR. I was overcome with desire. What have I done? What have I done? Um. You're only a man, LCR. Um. <laughs> Who are you? The devil? But you just now invited me. Um. When you tried to attack your servant Josephine. Okay. So the devil has told that apparently. I thought we had some affinities. But when you left the fire spreading oh, your church after geez. Josephine hit you with the candelabra, when um, you accused her in front of all the villagers yeah. of the crime that you had in fact committed, that was when I knew we were going to do great things together. <laughs> oh. Okay. And that is what brings me here to make an offer you can't possibly refuse. I should it's refuse it, though. And it's the devil. Servant. 
Um, hmm. Okay. Here's a strategy mode. Oh my god. In this mode you're able to place traps in the forest to, to strategically plan your defense for the coming night. Oh. This interesting. Um, I see then the wish will carry me back to the master and the attack tonight. I could even feel the presence of two werewolves. A werewolf, okay. Yeah. Omens. Uh, omens. Tutorials, tutorials. The omen tutorials. cards represent Josephine's visions, and they help huh? you plan your defense for the coming night. Okay. This shows the type of enemy that will attack. Yeah. Leaving your cursor over a card will show you a lot of information about that enemy type. A lot of information. This is the number of enemies that will attack from this area. Okay. The attacking order of the omen cards depends on what wave they belong to. During yeah. the night, a new wave will not attack until the previous wave has been defeated. Okay. You can choose which waves you see on the map with the filters on the right side of the screen. Yeah. Okay. So you can see in what order they will attack, how many there the will be of them. The last icon on the card represents what their target is for the night. In this case, it's your house. Yep. If you click on a card, you'll see the enemy's path to uh -huh. your target. Plan your strategy with the help of these omen cards. Yeah. Kind of makes sense. Now that I know where the bees are going to attack from, I'll set the wolf traps to help me tonight. Yeah. Oh, it's actually uh, like 3D. Click on the wolf trap to select it. Bam. Uh, bam. Simple as that. Bam. Is that all? No. I don't want to watch that. I also tried to lure other bees under hanging nets. Yeah. Have some hanging nets, apparently. There we go. I put this here. Bam. And one here. Bam. A tur no. I'm fine. Okay, I finally finished setting my traps. Now I just need to wait for the nightfall. Well, that seems nice. You start every night at your house. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna start my button. To put your plan to the test. Well, I didn't do very much thinking there. <laughs> they just told me where to put everything. So, hopefully, the game is... Let's make some right decisions, and it's going to work just fine. Way one out of three. 